people I am making another anti-tech video um, today's gonna be geese um, I'm making this at what, 1 a.m. or well, 1 a.m. today is what, what day is today today is Thursday 1 a.m. so hopefully I can survive this <laughs> but yeah we, we, we're gonna do a geese um, I'm pretty sure everyone at geese is insane damage with uh, three bars. I'm pretty sure everyone, if you're versed a decent geese, you might have like got TOD'd. Touch of death. I don't know. If you get into high ranks, you, you might. Um, but yeah, anyways, that you can't really do much about it. <laughs> yeah, but I can, I can kind of, I'm gonna cover the most annoying thing about geese which is the Fudokin ah no un and ba un and ba and i'm pretty sure you don't that's not what people call it um this this thing and that thing um you know the 50 50s the 50 50 mix ups um so gonna gonna teach you how to deal with it um yeah, so let's get straight into it. So, the Merv usually comes out, like, how most Geese players tend to use it is, um, like, the, they, they, they tend to do it as two forward one and then into the Fudokins, um, which is two forward one and then, so from that into the Mervs. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this. Yeah, so the the low and the mid, like you see you see geeses and then whatever they do their shenanigans and then they pull out this. And you're like, oh shit, I gotta deal with the 50/50. So how how to so how to deal with that? It's quite simple. Um, what you really need to do is don't worry about this. Don't worry about don't don't worry about any of these what you need to worry about is this this is this is the main thing you have to worry about and look out for um, reason being is most geese players will use that into that which goes into um, to that so it's the long double like I don't know turn around arm thing what, what is that move called Forward one, Tendo Kuraki, whatever you call it. Forward one, we call it forward one. So this is this is the move you have to memorize in your head. This is the move that you got to get your muscle memory, like your muscles to memorize. Reason being is this goes into that, like I said. Because if you see this move, then what you want to do is duck and then punish. Um, like I will explain it by doing this. So let's record two, four. Yep, and then let's do the low. And yep, so there we go. So we'll start off with the mid. So you see that duck and then punish so you see this you see the yep so you see the whatever him spreading his arms out what do you call it the fudo fudo whatever well, i can't remember what it was called but the ford one that duck and then punish but you gotta be you gotta be really you're like this is this is where muscle memory comes into play you gotta be really quick if you're too slow um so you're like oh and then yeah you're like, oh damn, I was too slow. And you gotta get hit, and then you gotta get stand up. Yeah, see, you, you gotta be really quick. So you gotta you gotta have it memorized straight away. Oh, there it is. And then see, I was too slow as well. Again, there as well. You ducked it, but but you couldn't punish it in time like that. So best option is to learn is um do just like a while uh while standing fall after you duck. Just do while standing fall. This is like 
first get this like in your head like memorize that like so oh there it is duck and while standing four like it like do it step by step um so like once you get this like you know on lockdown then you start moving on to the next one like, and which is the 15 frame punishes like everyone's while standing two well it'll be different for everyone but yeah the geese is um full crouch down for one yeah and then you start getting that onto lockdown and so that was the mid so it still works the same for the um low um so the same you see it and then you punish them uh, yep, like that easy not hard just muscle memory. Yeah, I don't think you can like some moves. You could probably yeah, yeah. some moves you could probably kind of um, like high crush. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you could do that with geese, but yeah. So that's the way to deal with that. Um, and then I bet you you're thinking, oh, but he has this, um, the mid. You're like, oh, but he could just mix you up with that. Well, the thing about this mid is, first of all, it's a special mid. It's it's a green mid, not a yellow mid. Special. So y your usual mids um, are yellow. And then um, special mids are green. Um, green being it's Doru Pukun. See, it was green on the screen. You can see it. It says mid, but it's green. So that's what you call a special mid. Special mids you can block while crouching and while standing. And well, you can stand guard and crouch guard. Yeah, that's a prop, uh, proper term. Um, so yeah, see, it's green. You can see. So this is a special mid until high. The first one, uh, quarter circle back three. The power crush, and then the four is special mid into normal mids, like so. So, what does that mean? Is you can still block it while you're crouching, but anyways, that's not what matters. Is you get even if you don't, um, even if it was a normal, if it was a normal mid, the thing is with these is it jails on block after the um, Ford one so these moves actually jail so jail meaning that you can't do anything after so let's try it with the first one so if he does it and then I duck um, I was holding down forward for some reason I should be holding down back why am I? See, I couldn't even uh, crouch block, like thinking he would do that. Yeah, see, I, I still block the mid. Yeah, so this is this is where muscle memory comes into play. So you so you see him do that, and then you're like, oh, um, you you block the um. The quarter circle back three, and then you just punish him accordingly. So you're like, like, oh, you're gonna duck, but oh, you blocked. Like, oh, I blocked. Like, like I was gonna duck the high, oh, but he didn't do it. Oh, that's a shame. And then you just punish him. Um, I think, I think that's minus thirteen. I don't know what you can get with minus thirteen on with geese. Um, what is minus thirteen? No, that won't hurt. Um, maybe just a one one two. Hmm. Oh, I was pushing buttons. What can you get with geese? I don't know. Geese is weird. Well, why am I holding four? So you block all that. No, that's not. No. I don't know what you can get with geese. Uh, that won't work. Anyways, yeah. You just punish him accordingly. 
Um, and then it's the same with this one. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna duck. Oh no, he did that. Like, I'm gonna try duck it because I'm thinking. Oh no, I couldn't. I couldn't duck because it jailed. Oh, if you get hit by the first one, that's all guaranteed. By the way. So oh, he did that, and you just punish accordingly. I tried to duck. Oh, so you can see I did try to duck. I held down back. No, still can't. It jailed. I won't even let me go down. So then just punish. Whatever. Um, I think that is minus. I think that is minus fourteen. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's. I believe two is fifteen frames. Yeah, so it should be minus fourteen to my knowledge. No. Should come out punish. Yeah, see? Punish. There you go. So yeah, that's how you deal with that pretty much. So you don't really have to worry about anything um, with the mid. Like you like you're like, oh I'm gonna duck it, but I'm gonna get hit by the bat. Don't worry about it. Just memorize. Memorize the to duck that third high. But this is the problem. Some geese players might not use the one, uh, use the two first. They might not use that. They might just go straight into this. So they they just start off straight away with this, and then go into that. Or they might go into down four and then into that. So they can. So any move that goes into the Ford one, so yeah, even cock jab. So any move that goes into the Ford one, you just gotta remember. So he has down four Ford one, he has two Ford one, cock jab Ford one, uh, uh, down four uh, down four cock jab, and then Ford one. Yeah, just gotta memorize all that. Unfortunately, just remember. But what you so this is why I told you to memorize the Ford one. Don't worry about anything else, just the Ford one, because you want to know. You want to be able to see this animation, and then you're like, oh, he did that. I'm ducking. Um. Yeah. So that's about it. Um. Yeah. Like even even uh so oh you, yeah I should explain this as well. You shouldn't get it confused with um so forward one quarter circle back two is the and then into that move. But then he has um forward one quarter circle back and then if you're ducking and punishing that won't even hurt. But he has forward one, quarter support back one, which is uh, just pushes back. But that's a high as well, so you can duck it. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. So you can, uh, it's the same. Uh, you can just duck and punish. So, yeah, just remember that. Forward one. Forward one, then duck. So, and then that takes away a lot of geese um, pressure tools. And it makes you kind of just deal with normal geese, which is like, because just pokes, down forward one, one, you know, down for two, forward one plus two, etc. Um, yeah. Um, another thing is. Um, like, I guess some things you should worry about is this frame traps I would say um, oh before I get onto that I should mention um, how to practice all that so you've had so so we've got so two four so that's that start up then you've got your uh, just the four one start up um, and then you've got your 
Down four, start up. There we go. So just say we work with those three. Oh, and maybe this one as well. Just, just start up 50 50. So we'll just stuck with these three. So you, like I said, this is this is what you want to do in practice mode. Duck. Oh, he started with that one. There you go. Yep. So I'm waiting for him to do the forward one and then ducking and just doing a while sending four. Um, if he's gonna even do the low, there, oh, there we go. Oh, I got hit by. Hit. I, I should be holding back. Yep. So I ducked it. Yep. Um, is he gonna do the low again? Is he gonna do the low again? Yep, so I ducked it, see? Even if you get hit by the low, you can still um, break the thing. Um, you can um, still block it. So yeah. Yep. So I'm just not gonna... Just making sure he does everything properly. Yeah. See, he does all that. Yeah, so this is, this is a way to learn. Just like, to learn how he does the moves. And then how to punish. And then... If you add into this, this is this is the hard part. He could just do it straight away, and you gotta know. Like he might do it straight away, and then you're like, oh, I just gotta block. Like he'll do the quarter circle back too. Was he gonna do it? Oh, he did it, so I just, I can't do much. I just gotta block. So, yeah, can't do much about it. You just gotta block for that one. Um, yeah. Uh, that's the way to deal with it. Um, and then, before I move on to his other stuff, um, I should tell you that this and so the low so the low and the mid the low is faster than the mid by like one or two frames I believe so you can fuzzy guard it you can fuzzy guard it so if, say you missed it, yeah. Say you missed it. You can if your if your reactions are really good, you can block it. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, my reaction's quite slow. But you can see it as well. But it's really hard, so that's why I don't. I don't. Yeah, I. You shouldn't really try to block it on reaction. Um. Yeah. It's really hard. Like fuzzy guarding it. So you gotta do a low. Nope. Wonder if I can. No, that's too. No, that. Just wonder if I can low parry it. Yeah, it's really hard. It is doable, apparently. Can't even. It's, the timing's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is hard. So that's why I don't really want you to kind of do that. If you can see it on reaction, then by all means, just block and then punish him properly. Um, but as I said, best is just to duck that third high or second high if he does that. No, just the high after this. Just duck it and punish. Unless you can um, see these on reaction. Because low is a bit faster than the mid. Um, yeah, so next we'll move on to his frame, somewhat frame traps, I guess. Um, okay, first basic frame trap is his downfall ones. Um, downfall one strings. You can duck, you can duck the second part to mid high, you can duck it. But then he has mid mid down forward one four, and then if you if you get counter hit after um so yeah you get hit by that and then you get juggled like saying if you try to duck that and then he does the mid instead while you're trying to punish like the was in four then you get juggled so usually. Usually, if you, if the opponent is doing a lot of downfall ones, downfall ones, downfall one ones, then I guess just duck it once in a while, um, and then punish him. But if he if he's just doing the downfall ones um, and then downfall like one fours, then just don't duck. It's not worth it. Um, he'll he will destroy you. He gets a full juggle. Um, what was this juggle? He, he gets a full chuckle, so yeah, don't, yeah. If he if he does the downfall 1-1 one, one a lot, then duck the second one, so to make him stop doing it. And then, um, a lot of, a lot of, um, frame traps that he does, um, as well as the down 4-3. Four, four, this move, I'm pretty sure you've like, pretty sure you've seen a lot of pieces do that. Like you're like, oh, I'm gonna duck it, and then he does this, and then yeah, he does this, and then you're like, oh fuck, um, you get hit. So if the geese is doing this a lot, duck, duck it. But just be careful, he will do this if he if he sees you duck. Um, And then from there, so from these two, so this is plus one on block. And then I'm pretty sure a lot of people are trying to like push buttons. This is plus one on block. Uh, thank God. So this is plus one on block. So he will beat you, whatever you do. Um, let's record. So. And then he does like say that. So you get hit by it, blocked it, but then you know you try to jab and then Oh damn, I'm gonna get hit. So yeah, watch out for that. But then that's not the that's not the problem. That is nowhere near the problem. This is the problem. So he does that and then Oh, he gets pushed back, doesn't he? It's gonna be hard. Um, he does that. Oh, I got a hit. That's right. Uh, that's gonna be hard by myself. Um, okay, let's just explain in terms. So he does the four down four, and he's on plus one, and then he does the down jab into forward one. This is why you should not push buttons after the down four, uh, down four, four, three, because of this. Because on counter hit, that's guarantee after the cock jab. So we do that, stand guard. So, so he blocks it, right? So after that, he blocks it. That's fine. So you can block it. 
But, counter hit. It's guarantee. So this is why his down jab is really strong. Um, so down jab. Yep, full guarantee, even, um, yep. Um, I can't do this properly, but you can, you can, he can get that. Um, bring up and use your Reprukens. So, that's all, that is guarantee. I can't talk enough. I'm not that good. I don't play geese that well. Um, so, cock jab. Oh, damn it. Damn, why is it not working? See, like that. It's guarantee. So this is this is what the big juggle comes like. You know the big big juggle. So um, other things. Player power gauge max. Let's put on max. So so you know you know everyone's seen this. Like, um, and then into that thing. Why is he blocking? He shouldn't be blocking. Like, into that mega damage stuff. So, um, and then if it's the wall, then you get wolf splat, and then you go into um, raging storm, and then all that bullshit damage. Yeah. So this is this is why you gotta be careful. So, so after cock jab, counter hit cock jab. This is guarantee. Or that's you know guarantee. So after down four four three, if he knows you're gonna push buttons, down four is going to annihilate you. Uh, I mean down jab. So he does that. You block, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna jab him, but he's like, nope, I'm gonna down jab you, and you get counter hit into this. So you gotta, you, you have to worry about this. So wait, like it's good to kind of low parry now and then, like after the down four, um, down four four three. Like it is kind of like just do like a you know slight, slight low parry, just like a little tap, and that will low parry it. Um, another one is his down forward one one on block, and then he does that. Like people think, oh, uh, they try to, you know, down forward four, um, down forward one, the notorious uh, geese down forward one, like pressure. Wonder if it'll work this time. Okay, yep, there you go. So you do that. So that blocks, yep. But say after the down forward one, you try to do a down forward one and then you're gonna get hit by that. Like you're like, oh his turn's over because I blocked the down forward one because they're on minus one after down forward one. But you're like, oh, and then you try to you're like, oh it's my turn, but down jab beats you and you get counter hit. Like I'm pretty sure even jab would beat you. Yeah, because they're high crushes. So you gotta watch out for that. Even after the down forward one one. Uh down forward one yeah, down forward one one. Yeah, even this as well. So you block it, and you're like, jab, oh, damn it. And then you get. Even the down forward one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, just the, the down forward one string in general. You have to be careful. Um, because you may get counter hit down jab. So the main scary thing is this. This is a scary thing. Like out in the open, he like, like there's not really much he can really do. Just like get in with these and stuff. Like kind of hit down for down for twos if you're sidestepping a lot, or just a random forward one plus twos because of the mega range it has. Like, look, at, look at that! Look at that range. Um, or just like the random fours like. 
do that or do that. Yeah, you know, you can like might sidestep and then you get like push a Merv and then you get counter hit. Um, yeah, and then what else? He he has the elbow, but that's just generic running moves. Just sidestep it. Um, and then a lot of geese. What else do a lot of geese do? He does the um back. Um, what does he do? Back for a uh, back three two. This move. Um, and then into cancel. Yeah, I should actually talk about that. This move itself is 15 frames, I believe, without uh, max cancel. So if he does it, yeah, see, even yeah, the two is 15 frames for geese. Yeah, so if he does that without cancel, then punish the shit out of him, launch him. Um, but EX cancel. Oh. This I should hold back actually. Hurry up and do your um, thing. No, I want you to EX cancel. And then I'm just gonna hold back. So even if he does it, I should give you max as well. There you go. He's safe. What's even worse is if he cancels, he's plus two. He is plus two. So he could do this. If you want to cancel. So just say he did that. He's on plus two. Oh no. Can you do your move properly? Yeah, see? I can't I can't interrupt them. Yeah, I'll get hit. So that's you gotta watch out for. So you shouldn't really push buttons after that, especially a jab, because he's on plus two. What's he gonna do? Down jab. So yeah, um, it's obvious he's gonna he's gonna down jab you. Down jab will be anything you do unless you hop kick or low parry. Um, side stepping is is an okay idea but then he could do that so yeah just usually if he goes into EX mode it's best to just block best option block then you decide what to do so the first time he does um, back 3-2 into EX mode um, just block and see what he does. If he if he jabs, if he if he's a jab like a jabbing person, then you can sidestep or you can um, crouch and then punish. But then if he's a uh, if he's doing no, what are you doing? Don't do that. Stop. So if if you know he's a uh, like if he's a down jabber, then. You can low parry it or do a hop kick if he doesn't have a hop kick. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a hop kick, so you can't really do much. Um, so yeah, and then some other players might do. No, don't do that. They might do back 3 2 and max cancel and then another back 3 2. Right, it really depends. Or they could do a down 4. Um, down 4, 3, 4, 
four down four four three yeah he could do that really depends just see what he does first and then you decide what how to like deal with it next like the next time he does it but he does need meter to cancel if he doesn't have meter and he does that then launch him um next is i should talk about is um his rage art yes his rage art because since he's got two rage art uh play rage there we go so he's got two rage art. He's got, you know, his usual thing. This is unblockable high. Um, he's got two. So he's got the Rashoma, which is the normal down back two. Uh, down back one plus two. And then he's got the. Deadly Rave, it's forward, half circle, back, forward, 3 plus 4. Okay, that's a bit late. So, yeah, and then you do the um, thing. So this is, this is um, duckable. It's unblockable high, but it's duckable. And this is, this is a blockable mid. This is a blockable mid. So, pretty sure you can see what the difference is. Yep. Unblockable high. Learn it, people. Now die. Yeah, now die. Yep. And then... You lose it. So, the mid, he crosses his arms. And then unblockable high, he points at you. So is, is, when you see the animation, duck or block, and then punish accordingly. Simple. And then yeah, I guess that's like the main stuff you got to worry about him. Um, oh yeah, this I should have mentioned. If he if he doesn't do anything after the fourth one, it is um. Does launch punish? Um, so if he doesn't do anything, um, does launch punish? Let's see punish. I'm pretty sure Geese's two is fifteen frames. Yeah. So if he if he only does that and he doesn't do the mid, I mean the high. Then. So, like, you you would be ducking anyways. You'll be like, oh, I, I, I saw him, um, like, oh, he's gonna do the, he's gonna, he's gonna do the thing, the high, and then punish. Like, you're probably gonna be ducking anyways. Um, so, yeah, you, you can, you can even, like, delay it. But just you know, to, uh, it, 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 like you'll be ducking, so it'll be hard to kind of, I guess, think. Yeah. Um. But what else? Yeah. So just punish accordingly. Um. What else can you punish? This move, I guess. Forward two into the forward one plus two into the Japukin. Japukin? I think that's what you, is that what you call it? Forward um what is it? During during jump. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. I guess it'll be in the special moves, right? <laughs> During jump. 
Shapukin. Oh, it's Shapukin. Man, he sounds like Shapukin. Shapukin. Okay, let's move. Let's move. You can run up and punish. It's quite hard, but you can. I don't know what the exact punish is. Oh. It is punishable to my knowledge. I think it depends on character. And that's too slow. Yeah, see? You can. It's... Yeah. It's gotta be a long range move. Yeah, and the timing's quiet. It's strict, but it's punishable. Yeah, it's strict. Um, it's a strict punish. Um, the moves that are minus 14, since minus 14 is quite important now in Tekken 7, is his... 3-3 um, three, three is minus 14. Um, I think what, what was... No, there was another move. Yeah, oh, forward 4. Forward 4 is minus 14 to my knowledge. Um, down forward 1, 4 is 14 on block, I believe. So, down forward 1, 4. 3 3. And that one as well. So they all should get punished by that. Oh. That push back. Let's just do one at a time. Oh, damn it. What? Set. Okay, maybe not. Uh, 12. What's this? 4. I don't know what his. Downfall 1. Yeah, downfall 1 is 13, so it's definitely at least 13. Thought, thought it was 14. Okay, so that's. Um, downfall 1 4 is 13. Um, next one, that I believe it's, f I thought these were all 14, okay, they're all, okay, then 13, they must be 13 now, thought they were, yeah, 13, can I reach? I can't even reach, god. Damn. Yep, can't even reach. So that's a bummer. Um, but yeah, that is stuff you should be punishing. Um, what else does he have that you need to punish? Uh, Prukins. Definitely you need to punish these. So. The first one, just the singular, and then so like they will use this time to time. This is a lot harder for geese. Geese versus geese is hard to punish reprukins at point blank. So it's not 15. I think it might be 14. No, it must be 13 again. Yep, 13 for singular. And this one is the hard one because it push backs you. Yeah, this one this one is usually launch. But because of the push back, it's really hard to punish. Yeah. I don't think geese can punish. I don't think geese can. 
can with the Ford 4. I think it's like at least 15 frames. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 15 frames. Um, we can check if that is correct if we do this. So that was launch. Oh, too slow. So yeah, this is slower than um, 15 frames, since this punishes it and that's 15. So yeah, double repukan is like, I no, it's minus 18, yeah, it's minus 18, because death fist hits. Death fist hits for Paul. Um, I'll just show you some stuff. Um, so I should go pull then east. Yeah, it's gotta be like just frame deficit to my knowledge, because like it is strict timing. But you can deficit the double repukin at point blank if he does it point blank at you. So like laws three plus four will work. Um, if he does a point blank at you. Wait, if he does that. You can get this. Yeah, see? You can get the death fist. Um, imagine this at the wall. Yep. So, geese players should not be doing this point blank at pull. Because they will get their, f their fist in the face. If like, proper pulls will do it. Yeah. They, they will get annihilated. Yeah, they'll get annihilated. But yeah. Um, I think I've covered everything that... Uh, and for our anti basic anti geese video. Um, yeah, so it's just going over again. Um, just a forward two one, uh, two forward one into that. Just remember to duck after this, after the forward one duck, because even if he does the mid, it's you're safe because it's um it jails. Um, yeah, and then just block and punish accordingly. Um, I'll show you, um, oh yeah, I sh might as well try show you blocks. Oh. Should, since Paul has proper punishing. does the first one so this is 13 should be able to get a back one two guess not with Paul since he's too far what can you get with Paul mm, probably have to duck and punish maybe Man, you can't really get anything with Paul? That's dumb. Damn, Paul can't get anything. Thought his back one too would be able to. I guess not. Um, you will have trouble punishing that then. This one. This one's definitely easy to punish. Um, I think it's 14. Uh, it should be back three. No, it might be minus 13. Okay, it's minus 13. Man, I should really check out the frames. Okay, let me just check the frames. 
Let's check the frames. Uh, taken seven geese. Howard geese frame data. We go. Um, quarter circle back three. Half circle back three? Oh, it is half circle back. Yeah, f minus 14 and minus nine. Oh, it's minus nine. Okay, the three is minus nine, so it is safe. Okay, don't worry about it. Um, but the four is, it is um, minus 14. So I don't know why this isn't punishing. I don't know why that knee isn't punishing. Don't ask me why. Why is it not punishing? It's 11. 13. And that's 14. Why is that not working? Oh, well. But it is minus 14. So if you have a 14 frame. Why is it not working? Hmm. Don't ask. Anyways, yeah. So just remember that. Um, yeah, just duck after this. Let's move. Like, you know, just memorize it till you get sick of it. Like, lab it, forward one, duck, forward one, and he does that, duck. Just, yeah, just duck right away. Um, yeah, so until my next anti-tech, I will see you guys next time. Um, have fun labbing.